It's the one Canon lens I take with me when I want to travel really light. Hi, welcome to my next video. Normally when I go on my photo excursions, I take two cameras, four or five lenses, two tripods, but this excursion was different. You'll see what I mean in a minute. I set my sights on the Delaware Water Gap this time. It's where the Delaware River cuts through the Allegheny Mountains. It separates New Jersey from Pennsylvania. There's a lot of waterfalls, there's scenic views, there's good hiking, there's the Appalachian Trail, just a lot of photo ops. But this trip, the photography was going to be secondary. It was going to be about hiking. So I only took my Canon 90D, that's my smaller uh, DSLR. And I just wanted one lens that stayed attached, you know, to the camera the whole trip. And that one lens was the Canon 18 to 135. You can get my complete review of the Canon 18 to 135 lens on this YouTube channel. But I'll tell you just for now, it's small, it's light. I love the 7.5x zoom range. It's just perfect fit for the crop sensor cameras from Canon. The SL1, SL2, SL3, all the Rebels like the T3i, 4i, 7i, uh, the 7D Mark II, the 7080D, 90D. Just a really good uh, walk around, all purpose lens. The first day hike was a simple six mile out and back, and I did not see a single person or animal except for one you'll see at all. All right. Sorry about this herky jerky video and the up close and personal, but I'm doing this quick because it's raining. But I'm finally on the trail, Delaware River Gap, in the northwest part of New Jersey. And I'm at uh, Camp Taylor, and this is the trail that goes up to the AT Trail. And there's a wolf preserve, which I'm hoping they're going to howl because they were just howling a couple minutes ago. But I'll be right back. Onward we go. All right, it looks like I made it to the fire road. All right. Fire road. I made it. It'll be a lot flatter now going east or west. Today we're going east toward Little Lake. There was a big change in the weather on day two, and so, after going up the mountain trail, I decided to go left, southwest toward Mount Tammany Lookout. It's still quiet hours at the campsite, but I'm leaving Camp Taylor. So I'm coming up on the Wolf Preserve. And they are very specific in their directions, instructing you not making any noise, just being really quiet, respecting the animals. I'm actually leaving Camp Taylor and I'm going to walk right by it. They actually have tours. Sorry, i got to watch where I'm walking, it's very rocky. But this is an access road that the, they take two buses up and do the guided tours of the Lakota Wolf Preserve and the trail that goes up to the ridge to Delaware Water Gap goes right by it. You have to watch for the trail because it's the sign is on the ground. So the first time yesterday I walked by it. Anyway, I have to be quiet now because I'm coming up on the wolf preserve to be real quiet when I walk by. Sorry for the sun glare. All right, I'm past the Wolf Preserve at the trailhead, and it's, like I said, it's real easy to miss, but it's on your right. The only reason I found it, I walked right by it. I'll show you what I saw at the end of the trail.
and there's the sign for the mountain trail. So I'm going to take, take this camera off the tripod and put it away because it's pretty uh, rocky and pretty steep. I'll see you on the fire trail or in the fire road trail in a second. Okay, you never know what's going to happen. The fire road pretty much disappeared into a single width trail, still rocky, winding, in, and we're about to join with the other trail. All right, this is the trail I followed on the second day when the weather was nice. But down here was actually my cabin. This is the access road that takes you up past the Wolf Preserve. And then this is the steep slope all the way up to the fire road, which goes out about three miles. This joins in with both the red trail and the blue trail. These are the popular way. The popular trails folks will access the Mount Tammany Point because there's a parking lot right off Route 80, and this is the Delaware River. So, made it to the point in under two hours, but I stopped a couple times, shoot some videos and some stills. Spectacular day, spectacular view. I'm gonna shut up and let you enjoy the view from the Tammany Point, Tammany Mountain Point. After enjoying the beautiful view from the point, Mount Tammany Point, I headed back down the trail. That's where the blue trail and the red trail meet up right there. And then headed along the fire road trail once again, completely by myself. And right about here came my big surprise. Stay away, bear. So before I tell you the whole story, I need to give you a little background. You know, I've been backpacking before a couple times. Usually it's with two other guys that both have bear spray and guns, but not me. I've been afraid of bears for a long time. This was the first time I hiked in bear country all by myself. All right, stay away, bear. My trail, hikers coming. Stay away, bear. Oh my God, I had my first ever meeting of a bear. It's about 50 yards ahead of me in the trail. I just was looking up trying to be alert because it's bear territory. And then uh, I did what I was supposed to, just kind of started talking and then got a little louder. That bear kind of got scared, walked, and then I saw the bigger one. So I was a mama and a cub, like the worst thing you could run into. But fortunately, I just found some rocks. I had my tripod, and I started banging them together to make noise and said, go away, bear, my trail. And so now I'm about a mile away. I'm risking this quick stop, but I'm heading back, back down the fire road, hopefully away. They kind of went off to the right down low slope, and I kind of veered the trail, veered up to the left. So I've survived, I believe I've survived my first bear encounter, although it wasn't really an encounter. It was a bear sighting. More details later, gotta go, bye. Oh man, you know how relieved I am to be off that trail. I'm on the access road now that goes back into the campsite. My, my heart's still, still beating fast. I'm still breathing. So I've been afraid of bears all my life. And so of course you go on a trail hiking by yourself. Isn't the greatest idea in bear country. And then if you come across the cub and her mom, that's the baddest, the worstest. But they weren't interested in confrontation, and I'm feeling really grateful. I hope you enjoyed my video. I would have liked to have shown you actual footage of the bear encounter, but I was simply too petrified to get out my camera off my belly bag. Uh, for more information on the Canon 18 to 135, you can see the links below this uh, video, or the 90D for that matter. Uh, you know, usually I like to show uh, my videos more about the actual gear I use, but um, the weather didn't cooperate, so I kind of switched gears and gave you a little bit of a story, um, and it was pretty exhilarating for me. Uh, please comment below if you're afraid of bears too.